isang college dropout ng University of St. Augustine sa Iloilo City. Bago pa ang isang taon ng kanyang graduation, siya po ay nag-dropout upang ipagpatuloy ang kanyang hilig sa pagninegosyo. Ipinanganak po siya noong January 9, 1977, Year of the Dragon, sa Iloilo City. Siya rin po ang chairman ng Double Dragon Properties, isang real estate developer, isa sa mga project po nito ang commercial, residential, hotels, malls, at marami pang iba. Kapartner niya rin po dito si Tony Tan Kakchon ng Jollibee. Meron din po siyang grocery store na ang pangalan ay Mary Mart na kabubukas lang po ngayong taong 2020 ng June. Ang network po niya ay 1.1 billion US dollar. Ayon po yan sa Forbes Magazine noong November 30, 2020. Rank number 21 sa Philippine 50 Riches 2020. Siya po ang founder ng Mang Inasal at siya po ay si Edgar Injapsia II at ito po ang kanyang 10 roles for success. Um, I think there should be some gaps somewhere out there. Um, for my specific case, I usually put so much attention and effort into it if I'm looking for one. Um, and it, you don't know, it, it might take you one week, one month, one year. But if you're on a search mode, you have to, to be obsessed with searching for it. Um, that's the way I think you can find those gaps. Because if you focus on, on just doing uh, what other people are doing, uh, it, 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 won't be, it won't be that sustainable. What's important is to find a gap because most of the industries right now are already um, dominated by the big established players. You have to find a gap for you to be able to successfully penetrate that specific industry. That's the only way. If not, if you do exactly what they're doing, it, 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 it's very hard. And exactly that's the story of uh, City Mall, uh, finding the gap where the malls not go, the, the yes. third tier cities, the second yes. tier cities, and then how do you fill up the, the slots by, by tying up with a strategic partner yes. who can help you grow these different things. Yes. So that's been your business philosophy from, from the very start with, yes. uh, with Mang Inasad. Yeah, yeah. So, so find a gap and, uh, and, and study the industry very, very carefully and put together your business model uh, the nuts and bolts understand it properly and try to uh, prepare a, a, a short-term, mid-term and long-term plans all together and then once it's, it's, it's polished, once it's there, you have to work hard and passionately to, to hit, hit your goals. Yeah. If you want to, to go into something, you have to really uh, uh, study the the whole industry and, and come up with a really, really well-crafted plan. So, not to skip that. Ne next after that is you have to really passionately execute your plan um, and be ready to to to, uh, know, to tackle all the challenges that will come your way. But you won't avoid it. You will just have to deal with it head on. And, and and put your heart and soul to to make your your goal happen. Tapos, siguro another is for me, I think yung uh, yung having uh, uh, doing your business dealings fair and square uh, uh, is important in the long run. Because uh, if you if you if you compromise uh, your your values. Maybe it will advance you temporarily, but I think in the long in the long run, uh, uh, it will pay off if you if you do things fair and square. Um, so I think that's important uh, uh, thing that I also wanted to to impart with with uh, uh, my fellow entrepreneurs and especially the, the, the new ones. Yeah, I don't know how to cook even up to today. Uh, I think it's not necessary. Mm -hmm. Every industry is different, mm -hmm. but you don't have to like be a good cook if you want to open a restaurant. You don't have to be a good pilot to open an airline. Similarly, 
you don't have to be uh, a, a good doctor to build a good hospital. What's important is for you to dissect and to, to x-ray the, the industry and study the nuts and bolts. That's more important. And try to fill in the gaps that you have. Um, so, so I think that's more important than knowing how to do it yourself. I see. That you can start small and if you plan properly and uh, you work hard to execute your plans, um, it's still possible for you to, to, to grow to a certain size and successfully compete mm -hmm. in, a, in a nationwide scale, just like how we, we, we did our, our business mm -hmm. at the time. That's right. Uh -oh. So I think to all of my Krababayans, you just have to really carefully study uh, whatever you want to achieve and then once you study the industry once you study the the, the terrain mm -hmm. you have to execute passionately you have to really work hard uh, you have to it's not um, optional for you to have some sacrifices uh, that's your contribution to to be able to reach your your goal to grow the business to grow the business so it's for me I think what I can share is the inspiration that it's possible uh, for a provinciano like me to start small and 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 grow. I remember stress and everything is more um, different for each person. I think it's more like for my case, starting from from scratch, building up the Mangina self. For example, I had so much of that. It's it's like uh, that that stage. Parang build your stamina. Parang it's how you you react to it. Um, what would be parang very heavy for one will will be like nothing for the other. Okay. So it's just like exercise. Diba? If you exercise, keep on exercising. Five five miles, ten miles is nothing, right? But for one one guy who's who's first time to run. 100 meters <laughs> so that's how I look at it so so it's important for you to to, to develop that stamina okay. so along the way over time first uh, you have to be creative you have to think out of the box it's good to rely on proven ideas but you have to be always on the lookout for fresh ideas there are so many challenges which I think uh, the entrepreneur should not avoid because it's really you just have no way to skip it to skip that stage na na maraming challenges kailangan daan mo talaga yun uh, uh, if you will not be able to, to to pass through that you will not successfully reach your destination anyway so it's for it's para hindi mo hanapin yung way na to skip that challenging period you just have to prepare yourself, anticipate in advance as much as you can. So I think that's the only way. Because there are many sabay sabay uh, uh, problems sa, sa operation, problems sa, Finance. sa finances, problems sa, sa personnel, problems sa uh, access to suppliers, access to to, to good people. So lahat yun, you come from uh, marketing pa. Everything. So you have to do it. You it. And you only have a uh, 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 very limited uh, uh, resources, personal, to be able to do everything. So you just have to do it. But you you were really hands on. I mean, you were really hands on. Yeah, first, first few years, I was in the store every day from opening up to closing. Yeah, you knew you in your private And very difficult because. <laughs> We wanted to keep the the, the the recipe a secret because yes. uh, we 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 knew at the time that it would be important as we grow the mm -hmm. the, the the business. So have no choice. Have to be in the store from opening till closing. Then when I go home at ten, my routine is we, me and my wife still has to to mix the marinade manually. Mm -hmm. wow. <laughs> so we, we sleep. Two to three in the morning, and then six o'clock have to 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 prepare again to go to the store again and, and open the store. So that was my my uh, 
my uh, routine for the first few years. Yeah, seven days a week. Seven days a week. Uh, oh, so, uh, <laughs> we, go, we go home every night at 10, 10 30. Then when you, pagdating mo 11, you feel like um, I want to sleep, but you cannot. Because you still have to sleep. Yeah, so, yeah. so that was the routine for the first few years. So, you know, one most important is to always be, be, be consistent in, 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 in doing your, your business dealings fair and square. Also, having focus. Because um, um, I think if you're a startup, and especially if you're competing with, with the larger uh, other players, um, it would be, but it's impossible for you to be able to. To, to successfully compete, kung, uh, kung uh, you don't have the focus. So focus is really important, especially in during the first few years. Because I think that the business is, I'm sure you will agree, it's like a, a, a having a child, diba? Mm -hmm. parang when when the child is infant, parang you give so much attention. Every second you have to yeah. you have to, to be there. Good. But also as as he or she grows up, you also have to adjust. So when pag adolescent na parang you have to have, have less less uh, be less hands on and then pag nag adult na kasi I think that is the the main goal that eventually in in, uh, in five to ten years the business should be like an adult who who can run on its own and grow on its own without you being in the middle of it. Um, Next is agility. You have to be fast as well. If an opportunity comes, you have to be ready to grab it immediately. Oh, third day, after the first door opened, but I get so I got so exhausted. Yeah, I said had so little sleep. Especially the preparation before the opening is so heavy. Plus, when we open, angulo gulo, like uh, so many so many unexpected things happen. And then, ayun nga, after we we come home still have to manually prepare the marinade and then sleep for two to three hours and then go to the store and then and then do it again. So after three days, para I said that night, I said I was so so exhausted I I told my wife, let's close it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and he said and she's next thing is Sabi niya, but you're you the two million you borrowed from your father, I said I just call him tomorrow. <laughs> so that's because I was so excited. But after I slept for two, three hours, I changed my mind. So I think that also uh, is a manifestation that you're really, really, uh, your desire to make it work is really there. Because you rebound back and, and, and do it, continue doing it. The best. The key for me is still providing importance for your family, no matter how busy you are. Your family will always be your core to keep your balance. It will keep you whole. When the times get rough, it is your family where you can ask for your strength. That is when one important ingredient comes to play, your passion. Passion, my friend, will let you keep going to continue to persevere and continue to work hard even after hard work after hard work that you already did. This applies not only on being a student but usually more importantly when you already pursue your professional life. Maraming salamat po sa panunod. Kung nagustuhan niyo po, huwag niyo pong kalimutan mag-subscribe at i-click yung bell button para lagi po kayong updated sa iba ko pang gagawing video. Maraming salamat po.